I have a special announcement to make, and I'm not sure if they quite know, but they, I asked them to uh, be in this video, and it's pretty cool that they're just like, okay. And here we are, and the lighting's kind of cool. We're at our friend's uh, house, who's a professional kiteboarder, who's in South Africa, going for the biggest wave air competition coming up. So, Jesse, you're, you're in our prayers. Um, what happened to me last night, it was a full moon, uh, laying in bed. And I had an idea for people, for myself. Maybe it's because that Timothy and I are so busy playing. I'm craving some contribution. And um, it hit me. I've been hosting retreats Timothy, with Timothy, with Diana, with the countless others. Or maybe we can count them. But I'm imagining among us all, we've had what about... I'm imagining we've interacted with about 1,000 people on like a very raw radically authentic like captain obvious type of way and it hit me that i think i might be an expert at telling people what's the most obvious ways they're holding themselves back that others won't tell them and i'll tell it to you really quickly and i'll make it really clearly and make it really easy to understand almost some might say that was too easy to understand daniel maybe you should be a bit softer but I have a feeling I could catalyze a breakthrough in almost anyone who is willing. So I thought maybe I'll start sneaking in a session or two a day for anyone who is interested. Just email me um, with a subject title, Captain Obvious, mm -hmm. <laughs> to tenallin at gmail.com, T-E-N-A-L-L-I-N at gmail.com. And one of the reasons I wanted them in the video, other than looking super pretty and giving me social credibility, is because they probably are great testimonies to my Captain Obvious skills. Would someone like to share? <laughs> yeah, I would say that um, Daniel definitely has a gift. Um, he's just being around him holds me to a standard that I don't think I was holding myself to without him. So I appreciate Daniel for sharing his gift with me and um, what I would say helping me live a, a higher level lifestyle, being a higher performing human. I've often said you should become a manager because you're so good at seeing the talent in others, like where they're selling themselves <laughs> short, where they're shooting themselves in the foot and self-sabotaging, and also what it is that they could really monetize. Yeah, I've wondered about... Um, it's the Jew in you. The Jew, the Jew in me. I have some Jew. Oh, Jesus was a Jew too, <laughs> and I've uh, wondered though so if people would uh, kind of how you would describe these gifts. I've actually wondered if some people would describe this. Uh, some might describe my gift as being a psychic. Hmm. I've wondered uh, about that, but then some people from like a Southern Christian perspective, they might interact with me. Like you have the gift of faith, you have the gift of discernment, you have this spiritual gift, um, and it's interesting. It's being around like so many different. Uh, groups of people that f have different thought leaders and for them to describe my gift in different ways. But in reality, I just see, well, from my perspective, I just see ways that people are holding themselves back. There's one thing getting in the way of you living the life of your dreams, and that's you. You got a problem with someone, Being that's psychic, you're the problem. That mean someone that, like, isn't that the term for someone who could see the future? Like well, it's almost... I think maybe an intuitive. Yeah, That's oh, an intuitive. Cool. Okay, cool. I like that. I'm not saying I'm a psychic. I'm not saying these things. I'm just trying to describe what you might what experience. You I, and what if I was? Mm -hmm. What if I was? Anyways, maybe I'll be asking you similar questions on our session. And uh, only this isn't. This would not be for the faint of heart. This would be for someone that who's really yeah. wants to have the mirror held up in every direction in every way possible as as effectively and efficiently as possible. So if you're looking to get like major work done in a very short period of time, then email me and I'll I'll stick it to this magic number of 420 again. Unless you got something, I'll break a rule. What you, no, got? What you got, Dinah? I was saying that what you got? Some people think they're ready and then they turn out to not be. So if you think you're ready, I would ask yourself that question again. Are you really ready? Because you might not be. And then again, even um, becoming aware that you're not ready is a lesson in itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Growth, baby. It's awareness, mm -hmm. one. Acceptance, two. Action, three. So you might, you might sign up for Daniel's session just to find out that you're not ready for a session. And, and that in itself could lend to that a very a valuable lesson. Powerful lesson as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, hey, I want. I feel there is a part of me that feels a bit insecure with this video, but there's a part of me that uh, a bigger part of me that wants to honor a thought, an imagination that I had last night. And imagination without action is just talking. But I like to walk the talk, so and I, I like it when other people do as well. So if you've been sitting on an idea for a while or imagining something, and you keep telling yourself, "I'll do it when," you're actually not winning. You're losing. You're putting off your dreams to some unbeknownst future. I was asking Timothy, someone wanted to come experience the Maui Super Training Hero Camp with us. <clears throat> Timothy's like, was explaining how this person wants to save money. And I was like, what do they want to save money for? Probably so they can have an experience like this. Uh, <laughs> and it's just interesting how we put off our, uh, we put off our dreams. And it's also interesting, on a side note, how people have a resistance to investing in their friends but have, don't even second question some of the things they buy, like the cell phone that I'm holding. And where is this money actually going? Or let's talk about universities. Investing anywhere from forty to $100,000 in a university. Now that's a big investment. Yet you want to go buy like the least expensive uh, School in alcohol is free. to uh, <laughs> party with. <laughs> what did you say? We get paid to go in school in Denmark. Uh, yeah. This could this could lead down the rabbit hole, so we'll uh, we'll stop on that one. But I'd love to go down the rabbit hole with you and get you that big golden carrot. Maybe we can find that big golden carrot that was so big it was right in front of your face you didn't even see it. 